Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In the previous video tutorial, we have developed the content view to render the tutorial post views. So here is the tutorial post view and here we have the custom tabs which are looking beautiful. Now within this list, we need to render this list but this list is uh, not uh, user friendly. Uh, it is a data table and uh, <coughs> if we will create record it will appear here but we need to make it more attractive and user friendly for that we will use this table okay uh, this table is uh, ho I hope uh, this is also based on data table okay so we need to use this so we will go table underscore data table managed okay table underscore data table managed here is the managed okay now we need to copy this one the managed table okay we need to copy this and search here so this is the managed table uh, we need to copy oh, the table only so this is the table which we need and we need to check where it is it is under the portlet body now go to here and we will found portlet body so here it is the tab one paste it here now uh, execute this in the browser right here and let's see how it's affect the UI and now you can see how it's look alike okay so we don't need uh, this one feature so we will remove it for our own purpose so now prepare what we actually need okay one thing more uh, this table uh, is not a data table right now so we need to make it a data table and for that we need to verify what is the ID uh, the table is using uh, for that go on to the top or even that you can search for table okay so it have the sample one ID we'll make it add because we need a production version and for that we need exact the naming convention which is associated with individual table so it is post list copy this and search for dot data table okay so now here we need to use this one okay so i will copy this let it go as it is develop this now refresh uh, now it's become a data table along with this one this entry these entries are coming from the database and we need to render this here okay we will remove these entries uh, these entries uh, go to the table okay this is the t-body now we remove some rows uh, instead of just one row we will remove all the rows We go in the end of the T body and you go oops we move from here to here. Okay. Now 
you will see we have only two entries and within that entries we need the ID title and action so we'll remove this okay uh, even that we can add a status to and publish date okay so ID title status date and action remove this one expand this okay we don't need uh, the first this checkbox so here it is the ID remove the checkbox ID title status publish date and actions now uh, what actually happening is that if we will go to the jQuery uh, when the get request comes it sends these options okay it sends these options here in the t-body so we will go with some customization remove this and in the get situation we will use this here empty the t-body okay so this is the first data which is the TID then title and then these options okay now we need to do some customizations having this div as the action so we have some TD we don't need to use this class so first TD is that and in the last TD which is the of action we need to develop that for these purposes okay we will use a variable action buttons is equal to this and we make it dynamic okay so right now what are they giving us okay we need add it and delete only so these two are useless this is useless this is useless and this is also a useless once we will sort it then create their nodes like this So this is what we actually needed. Now we will use this action button in the replica of this for the demo purposes. Okay, now use this action button uh, in this div. Okay, this is the uh, last div we will remove all these things from this div and place these action buttons now refresh the application okay so 
now it's uh, giving us like this id title uh, we don't have status okay we need action go to here uh, we need two di divs as empty this div oh sorry td having demo status this having demo date refresh so these columns are not set it right now uh, let me check why okay uh, because uh, it is not rendering in the first insert it is rendering in the last insert so we need to place that here so we will create this and use this so here is the this and also we need to use post list in the first ajax call now when we will refresh so here is the original record which is coming from the database now uh, we will remove these entries okay these entries from our front end okay for that uh, for the status what we have let's see here we have the label so we simply put that label within our content as the demo status now remove that entry remove this row so this is the final output which we have from our db and this is the exact data which we need these are the ids title statuses uh, we will add demo date in further video tutorials and here we have the action which we will implement in the next upcoming tutorials i hope this tutorial is informative if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel take care bye bye